last section we created our album detail component. And the purpose of this thing is to show a nice looking summary of a single album. Something like, I don't know, blah, that right there, exactly. So the album name, the artist name, some artwork cover image thing, and then the buy now button at the bottom. So this is the intent, this is what we're going towards. So before we get started on this, I want to kind of come up with a game plan on exactly how we're going to design and build this component right here. There's two different and distinct methodologies that we can take for building this. First, we might make a single kind of mega component, something that's going to, in one component, render this entire card right here. So we might end up with some JSX that looks like this right here on the right hand side. We'll have this kind of top level view for the overall card, you know, like the border that really goes along the outside. And then we'll have three blocks inside of that, one for each section inside the card. And the purpose of like this view and you know, right here that's going to contain the image and two text things, the purpose of this view right here will have some, you know, nice styling to make sure there's kind of like, you know, margin uh, between the text and some nice like border here at the bottom between the image and the header. And this view, same thing, will have like a nice border and blah, 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 nice border on there. So we'll have one single mega component that has all these different things to it and most importantly has all the styling associated with the overall card inside of this sing com single component. Okay, so that's, that is approach number one. That is one direction we can go. Now an alternative layout that we can take, something that's just a little bit different, and I know this looks nearly identical but there is a very subtle difference. One different approach we can take is to make two reusable components that we'll, we will use inside of the album detail. So the two reusable uh, components that we'll make are the card component and the card item component or card section. That might be a reasonable name as well. The purpose of the card and card section components will be to just have some amount of or just a component that will have some amount of built-in styling. So we will have styling that has the nice border that goes along the outside. It will have some nice margin to fit the content inside of it. And basically, you get the idea. It's gonna have some nice styling that we are not going to locate inside of the album detail component that we've already created. Now, why might we do this? Why might we take this approach? Well, pretty much for what I just said. <laughs> we'll have separate files, the card and the card item, that will just know how to show some amount of content inside of it, but most importantly, it will be a reusable component that will have really nice styling associated with it. So if we were writing JS, or excuse me, if we were writing vanilla HTML and CSS here, this might be just like a very fancy div or something like that. That we can swap out different detail uh, in the future, like you know, different image, different button, and still have a nice like card thing that looks really good. So I think that is the direction that we want to go. I want to make a card component and a card item, or we might call it card section, that will both be reusable, and all they're gonna do, there's not gonna be any fancy logic inside them, anything like that. The only purpose of the card and the card item is to have some nice styling associated with putting this card together here. So if this sounds a little bit strange, like, Stephen, why are we making these extra components? What is the point of this? Trust me, once we start putting the styling together, once you see the amount of styling it takes to get something that looks good, you're gonna say, okay, yep, the good idea, like making this reusable is a fantastic idea so we don't have to rewrite all these styling rules again in the future. That is the whole idea here. I wanna just save out on the amount of styling we have to write. So let's get started on these in this section. You know, let's, let's start building this card component and this card item. And I, I really don't like the name card item. I think we might rename it to card section. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's get started by making the card component. So again, a new component means a new file. Inside of my components directory, I'll make a new file called simply card.js. And then inside of here, we'll put together our usual boilerplate. I will import React from React. Uh, I don't want to import React Native, I just want a view. So I'll import view from React Native. And let's do const card. And for right now, we'll just return a view tag. And I'm going to 
leave it open, so we will get a ES lint error here about it needing to be self-closing, but that's okay. We're gonna fill something in here in just a while. And at the bottom, we'll do our export default card. Cool, okay, so again, just to be clear, the sole purpose of this component right here is just to make something with some nice styling that looks like a card. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on. Let's continue with this in the next section.